Ravens team, man. They uh, continue to face blow after blow after blow. Um, but even with all the blows that they've suffered, I do still believe that they are a Super Bowl team. Uh, the most recent blow um, that they suffered was Keaton Mitchell. Uh, and in tonight's game, um, Keith Mitchell, he was doing his thing. Uh, he was really starting to get into a rhythm because early on in the game he was getting shut down, but then he started picking it up and he started going off a bit. But then on his last run where you saw his knee like and his leg sort of like bend back uh, and you just knew it wasn't good. Now, I remember when we were watching it live, I was hoping, I was really hoping like, all right, hopefully it's just, a hyperextension, and, and that'll be it. And maybe he missed a week or two, maybe even three weeks, and then he'll be back for the playoffs. But uh, John Harbaugh did confirm the worst, uh, and he said that Keaton Mitchell, his knee injury is serious and that he will be missing the rest of the season. So Keaton Mitchell, our fastest, most explosive running back, is now officially out and, and it sucks because when you think about his story um how he even got to the baltimore ravens in the first place first off an undrafted rookie free agent uh and for him to have made the ravens roster uh going against a jk dobbins a gus edwards a justice hill who all three of those guys were essentially locks and then even going up against a veteran melvin gordon Going against a veteran Melvin Gordon, and you know the Ravens, they would much rather go with a veteran at a position than an undrafted rookie free agent because they want that experience. But they went with Keaton Mitchell over Melvin Gordon, so that said a lot. And then when he was hurt at the very beginning of the season, the fact that they passed him through the active roster and then put him on injury reserve just so he would be eligible to play this season because had they put him on injury reserve before the 53-man roster was set, then he would have been out for the year. But they really saw something in Keaton Mitchell. They really valued Keaton Mitchell, so they let him make the active roster. And when we first started seeing Keaton Mitchell, when he got his opportunity, it was like, oh, wow, this is great. Oh, this guy can make some stuff happen. Oh, and he's built for this league because we saw it in the preseason. And when we saw it in the preseason, it was like, oh, yeah, this is nice. But that's preseason. But then he showed us in the regular season that he can hang uh, with the big dogs. And... It just, it really sucks on so many different levels uh, how big of a blow this is. Like, think about this. Like, who would have thought that at the beginning of this season, we'd be talking about how losing an undrafted rookie free agent was a huge blow to the Baltimore Ravens? That says a lot about who Keith Mitchell is and what he's done for this football team. Um, you feel for him. You feel for his teammates. You feel for his parents. Um, you, you just feel for just everybody involved and you feel for him obviously the most because he was doing his thing but now what will the Baltimore Ravens do uh without Keaton Mitchell well John Harbaugh talked about it. he did say already that um Melvin Gordon is going to be added to the active roster so it's going to be Gus Edwards it's going to be Justice Hill and it's going to be Melvin Gordon um during the game when Keaton Mitchell went out I was wondering what are the Baltimore Ravens options? What are they going to do? Uh, I know they have Owen Wright on the practice squad. Um, with Melvin Gordon, I didn't even realize he was on a practice squad because I had been seeing him at every game and seeing him on the sideline all the time, but I didn't even think he was on a practice squad. Um, I thought they were just, I thought he was just hanging around. Um, but he is obviously there and now he'll be on the active roster. But with Keaton Mitchell, like it's different though because Keaton Mitchell, well, Justice Hill is fast. And Justice Hill was the fastest running back in his draft class some years back. But Keaton Mitchell, he was the his like his speed is just different. It's different. And Baltimore Ravens are gonna miss that so much. Because Keaton Mitchell, because of his speed, like you know what, when, when guys are like super fast like that, instead of them finding a crease and getting eight or nine yards, that eight or nine yards can go, it could turn into 14, 15 yards, just like that, just because they have enough speed to make up for that extra distance and get that many more bonus yards, man. So now the Ravens will definitely be missing that, but that just puts that much more on August Edwards. That just puts that much more on a Justice Hill. And now that just puts that much more on Melvin Gordon. But at the same time, with Keaton Mitchell out, I think it puts that much more on Lamar Jackson. So we'll see how the Ravens do. Um, Going to have a tough opponent coming right up 
uh, against the San Francisco 49ers, and that will be a nice test for the Baltimore Ravens and their run offense just to see how they hold up against a really good 49ers team uh, without one of their one of their playmakers. So we'll see exactly how that goes. Now, in other injury news, Marcus Williams, on his last play um, of the game for him, where he made a tremendous play. The, 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 the Jaguars had just got a deep pass um, where Brandon Stevens, he got beat. Um, I forgot what wide receiver it was, whether it was Calvin Ridley or Zay. I think it was Calvin Ridley, but whoever it was, he beat Brandon Jones for a deep pass that put him in the red zone, and Jaguars were looking to make a play. So Trevor Lawrence, he throws a pass to the flats. The receiver catches it. But Marcus Williams, in his very last play, and he got hurt on his play, he makes a tackle. Jaguars are already out of timeouts because they used all three of their timeouts on the previous Ravens drive while Ravens were driving down the field. Jaguars wanted a chance to get the ball back with some time. So they used their timeouts. But Marcus Williams made an excellent play by tackling the receiver inbounds. And Jaguars didn't have any timeouts, so that clock continued to run. Boom, they get no points before halftime. That was such a great play. But Marcus Williams, he he left the rest of the game at that point. Um, John Harbaugh did say with him, he's day-to-day. -day. Uh, so Marcus Williams is hurt, but he's day-to-day. -day. And he's just, man, it's been crazy with Marcus Williams because he has – with the Saints, squeaky clean, always healthy, good to go, come to the Ravens last year, started off amazing, boom, he gets hurt, missed a huge chunk of the season. Then this year, start off, boom, then he gets hurt in the first game, and then he misses chunks of games at a time, and it's just been crazy with Marcus Williams, man. Um, but it's just, it's been unfortunate. It's been really unfortunate with Marcus Williams. So now we'll see if he ends up being out or if he just maybe he just needs to rest for these next couple of days and he'll be back practicing whenever the Ravens do return to practice. We'll see. We won't know till we know if he's day to day, then, hey, maybe he practices on Wednesday. Maybe he doesn't. We won't know till we know. But at least it isn't anything serious. He is hurt, but at least it isn't anything serious. Now, I'm not sure uh, if he re-aggravated something or this is a brand new injury or I have no clue. Uh, so we'll see. Ronnie Stanley, um, when Ronnie Stanley, when they showed him walking off to the sideline, I was like, he don't look hurt. Like, what's going on with Ronnie Stanley? I ain't hitting them saying nothing about him being hurt or anything like that. But then they showed the replay, and <laughs> he, he like, banged helmets with that uh, Jaguars player. And I guess they wanted to check him for a concussion. So that that took him out of the game. But Ronnie Stanley, he he should be straight. I think he'll be back in practice uh, whenever they return, whether it's on Wednesday or Thursday, I'm not sure when they're going to return. I would think it will be Wednesday uh, to do a regular practice schedule because they have to do a long travel to go to San Francisco. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens with him. But those that's the only injury news that we got from that game. Now, uh, I guess we talked about all that bad news early on uh, with the good news. Kyle Hamilton. He played in this game, and y'all know me. I was like, no, sit Kyle Hamilton, let him sit down, let him relax, take it easy, whether he come back for the 49ers or come back for the Dolphins, well, just let him chill this game. Don't have him back out there already. He had a knee brace on, and he was good to go. When I saw that he was active, I was like, oh, Kyle Hamilton is playing. Okay, wow. But he was out there. He did not look bad. He was out there making plays, being a Kyle Hamilton that we all love and know. So I guess the doctors, they got it right. They, I, they obviously know more than me, even though, again, a lot of times I feel like I'm a doctor being a Ravens fan. But he he was just back to his normal self, just balling, man, balling. And a play where you could really tell, like, he is healthy was on uh, – it was a pass. I think it was intended for Calvin really. Trevor Lawrence threw it, and I think the, the Jaguars wide receiver – it was two Ravens. It was Kyle Hamilton, and I forgot who the other Raven was right there. But Kyle Hamilton, he was running this way. The ball was going this way. Kyle Hamilton did his quick turn this way, and he tried to break it up. But I was like, ooh, that, the way he turned, it was so smooth. It was quick. So he's good. He's good. So this man is – he might be made of steel or something. I don't know what it is because he – for him to have that MCL sprain and not miss any time. And I know uh, – and somebody brought this up. Like all football players, they're hurting at this point. All football players got some sort of injury, some sort of pain that they're dealing with. Because it's a very physical sport. It's a very physical season. And we're getting toward the end of it. But still, for Kyle Hamilton to be back out there already and to be playing like he was playing, even with the brace on, it's great. 
He's great. And he made his impact. His impact was known from jump. Literally from the very first drive. You saw 14 all over. You continue to see him all over. That man is just a straight up baller. Straight up baller, man. Kyle Hamilton is like that. So glad that he didn't miss any time. Glad that he is healthy enough to where he was able to go. Um, so that ended up working out. But yeah, man. Um, the Keenan Mitchell news. It, it trumps a lot of what happened tonight. It doesn't necessarily trump the win, but it does, like, we're happy that the Ravens won, but it's like, man, why we had to lose Keaton Mitchell, man? That's tough. Why we had to lose Marcus Williams, even though I, he could be back this week or next week, Keaton Mitchell is obviously just it's devastating. So, whew, that that's tough. And then when I was, I was talking to my guy Meech about it, and, and he made a good point. He said that with this injury to Keaton Mitchell, not only does it end his season this year, but it could possibly go into next season, too. It could possibly have an impact on him next season, too. And that's absolutely the, the, the last thing that we want for him because I had always envisioned, and I talked to you all about it a lot of times, too. I felt like next year it was going to be Keaton Mitchell. He was going to be the guy. Then don't think just, I mean, excuse me, I don't think J.K. Dobbins would be back. Uh, Gus Edwards, I thought, thought it was a little iffy about him. And I think, do think Justice Hill will be back because he signed for one more year. But I feel like Keaton Mitchell, he was going to be the Ravens guy. He was going to be their running back. But now this could mess up those plans. And not saying those Ravens had those plans for certain. That's just my opinion. But this interferes with that now. So Ravens, um, cause I, I was like, man, they they found that guy, like that guy for the next however long it's gonna be. Keith Mitchell special, and he's still gonna be special, but we just don't know when he'll be back yet. 